best of disguise. Hey guys, it's Salem and welcome to assignment number one. Today's assignment, losing focus. A lot of people talk about how getting their shots in focus is mandatory. Well, it's completely optional. There's no law anywhere telling you you should shoot in focus. That's what today's assignment is, shooting out of focus. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So in order for us to get started, let's get your camera. So what you wanna do first is set it to manual mode. There's like a little knob on top of the camera. It should have a little M on it. Then what you want to do is switch your focus from autofocus to manual focus. This is usually in the menu or sometimes it has like a preset button. Sometimes it's even on the lens. You can shoot stuff that's completely out of focus, unrecognizable, abstract, or you can shoot something that looks, you know, like a landscape. Just a little bit out of focus to the point where it's still recognizable as a, a photo. Depth of field goes hand in hand with f-stop. Lower the f-stops, say f1.8, f3.5, the less in focus. So we're gonna be dealing with less in focus. So bring that f-stop as low as possible. Keep ISO at whatever you had it, 100 or whatever. Depending on how you're shooting, say handheld or on a tripod like I have right now, you want the shutter speed to be in a good area. Since it's pretty bright out here, let's set the shutter speed maybe a thousand. For all you people who don't know what the ring is, this is the zoom ring, which we will not be using today, unless you want to, of course. This is the focus ring that you need to use. It's always the front one, not the back one. So what I want you to do is turn that focus ring to left and or right, experiment a little. There's less in focus. You still sort of know what's going on there, and that's what we're looking for today. 